you have to do the little cake tester. You basically want to stop it like right before it burns. <laughs> <laughs> So today we are doing something different. We are going to show you how to make the best banana bread recipe ever. And it is from my mom. Um, she has made it for a million years, um, but I think that it actually originally came from cooking with bone appetit breads, supposedly. <laughs> we'll flash all this up. We've got all our ingredients here. We've got them all here. We've got <laughs> sugar, flour, salt. Okay bananas. So let's talk about ripe bananas. Okay. Yeah. So basically I use, um, once my bananas have gone bad, like even if they get a little bit brown or even a lot brown, um, they're perfect for banana bread. So I just, I take them out of the peel, I put them in the freezer and I save them for when it's time to make the banana bread. Um, so these are frozen bananas and I did defrost them a little bit in the microwave, but we're going to start out um, by mashing the bananas. So Chris actually shot um, some other footage of this and I will roll that now. Um, that and cutting up the walnuts. <laughs> this is a three pound bag from Sam's Club Members Mark. That's a better deal. Um, also got a picture of what I got from Ralph's that was more expensive. Yes. Yeah, don't, don't buy the nuts at the grocery store. Get them bulk, you know, Sam's Club, Costco. That's the way to go. And you'll see uh, in the video that this is a big part of the um, labor and time that goes into making this is, is chopping up these nuts. But you can get um, pre-chopped walnuts, and that's what we also recommend. So I'll be rolling all that B-roll here as we go. So let's all go. Right. Ahead. Ingredient number one is going to be the flour. So I'm going to start with that. Um, the really nice thing about this recipe is that unlike some other baking recipes, it does not have to be exact. Like it's, it's not going to mess it up if, it, if it's not totally exact. So it calls for one and three quarter. So you'll see a picture of a one cup, a half cup, and half of a half is a quarter. <laughs> yes, it is. To make three quarters. All right, sugar. So I have to admit that um, although I try, I am not much of a cook at all. And I am certainly not a baker. This is like the one thing that I bake. And I have made it many, many times, so I feel pretty confident about it. Um, we host our Airbnb uh, quite, quite often, or we used to, not as much anymore, but um, when we make a little breakfast tray, maybe we'll put it on the screen what it looks like, but we make fruit and the banana bread, so. Um, I feel like I can't mess this one up. <laughs> oh, and she made us a, a pre-game snack uh, that I'll show in the footage right now. It's actually a fancy snack she makes. She, she's uh, too modest about her oh, culinary yeah, skills. Yeah, please. All right, um, so we got the sugar. All right, chop nuts. So this is going to be we're, TV magic we go. We're very ready. <laughs> and we're back. And then, <laughs> there it is. So one cup of chopped nuts. Uh, we're doing walnuts. My mom also likes to do pecans sometimes. You can do that. So while he's doing the one cup of nuts, I am going to put in the two ripe medium bananas. Oh, also in our chopped nuts shot, we've got a little appearance by Bobby. <laughs> a little guest appearance from Bobby. Okay. Uh, so this is two eggs, just whisk. Eggs. Chris thought it would be better uh, TV to show cracking and mixing eggs. You don't actually have to whisk them up, but it just felt like doing that for the shot. Chris got bored this weekend. <laughs> All right, half cup of vegetable oil. And this one is the kind of funky one. Um, well, this is actually what we think makes this banana bread particularly good is that it has buttermilk in it. So it calls for one quarter cup plus one tablespoon of buttermilk. So it's kind of strange, but and we need baking soda. It's in the refrigerator. That's how Chris makes this with me all the time. This is baking, it's called baking soda. This is what makes the bread rise. Um, I, I did one time 
uh, forget to put the baking soda in the bread and that will ruin the bread. You, it will not turn out. So don't forget the baking soda. Two halves of a half tablespoon. Two halves of a tablespoon. Two half teaspoons? Actually, we're doing two half teaspoons. All right, so don't forget the baking soda. Vanilla, it's up to you. My mom, she loves vanilla. She always goes a little crazy with it. Um, for me, it says one to two teaspoons, so I'll probably just start with, I'll do one teaspoon. Oh, that's a big one. Did you get this? You must have got that, okay. All right, so we're just gonna do the one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, this is actually imitation vanilla. I, I really can't tell the difference. If you're a super foodie, you might wanna get the real one, but I don't know if you've noticed vanilla prices lately, but it, it is crazy. <laughs> so we're going with imitation vanilla. I, I seriously think it was like $16, $16 for like a little teeny tiny thing last time I checked the vanilla, it was crazy. So anyway, in goes the vanilla, and now we just need half teaspoon of salt. Hello. Thank you, <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna mix, but while I mix, well maybe honey, I'll have you mix and then I will show them how to do, we're doing mini loaves. You can do a big loaf, um, but we're doing three mini loaves, um, which are also super great for gifts. So basically, you really wanna do this over the trash, but I'm gonna try to do this here for you, but you spray them, you know, cooking spray. I've got a shot of me doing that, and it's not pretty. It's not pretty. <laughs> All right, so I did a cooking spray to grease the pans, and then I just dump a little bit of flour in there in each of them. And then this is the part that you really want to do over the trash. So I just kind of move it around like this. And when I'm by the trash, I'm a lot more confident about it. So I'm going to go over by the trash and finish it, but you get the general idea. I'll show you what they look like in a minute. This is going to be a lot better than my shot. That's better. That's even, that's even better. Jessica. <laughs> or this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, you gotta get the sides yeah. good. I'll finish it. <laughs> we need more, more flour. All right, so we're just about done. And basically, I just line up the three tins like as close as possible. Um, I also wanted to put it in this pretty bowl for you, but I recommend using, you know, one with a spout. <laughs> It'll make this a lot easier, but if you put the pans close together, you can just go from one to the other, and you just want to put an even amount in each one. Oh, um, do we have the oven preheating? I don't know. Okay. So you want to preheat the oven to 325, which luckily is a low heat and it's not going to take very long. <laughs> so then you just scrape the rest off. This part I'm not very good at, but it does not have to be perfect. Okay, so we want to show you uh, the final result, which is here. These these little loaves, they're also great for gifts. You can put them in tins or wrap them in nice, you know, Christmas paper or whatever. Um, and we loaded them into the oven, which we preheated for uh, at uh, 325 degrees. So you just put them directly on the rack like that. And the time can vary, like the recipe says 35 minutes, but I just kind of have to keep an eye on them because you have to do the little cake tester. You basically want to stop it like right before it burns. <laughs> okay, so um, if you made it this far, awesome. Um, we are going to put the recipe down below uh, in the description. All right, see you later. Bye. Ta-da! <laughs>
All right, so here comes the gardener. So we're gonna have to wrap up this video. <laughs> but but uh, product right there, uh, we made it yesterday. Um, super awesome gifts. You can put them in a cute tin. Yeah, here comes. <laughs> Break time. He was checking out, and we, they were looking at it, and uh, they said that's not lettuce. It's cabbage. <laughs> we'll cut all that. <laughs> Call, comment, text if you want this recipe, or even if you're just think if you're even just thinking about moving to Merced. <laughs> this this yes. is supposed to be real. this is supposed to be about real estate.